For each exercise, try to do three to four sets of six to 10 reps. Hey guys, it's Gabby Muncy here again with Evolve Empire. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you about five of my favorite hamstring exercises. So that's another common area where you tend to get injured. Um, it's emphasized a lot when it comes to ACL injuries or ACL uh, injury prevention. And so just a quick comment on that, just a helpful tip when it comes to preventing ACL injuries is to really practice not only on your acceleration, but your deceleration. So every time you're doing speed stuff or really any lift, you can practice slowing down the movement and then speeding it up and slowing it down again. So just a quick tip for you guys, stay tuned for these five new exercises. Hey guys, so the first one I'm gonna show you is a bilateral RDL. So I like to do these, you see I got my shoes off, just my socks on, you can be barefoot or in socks. I prefer to do that because you get to work a little bit more of the calf muscles and the ankle stabilizer muscles and you can really feel the ground when you do this. So I'm gonna demonstrate first, we're gonna add a little bit of what's called a tempo. So as I lower down, I'm gonna count three to five Mississippi seconds as I lower down into the movement. So from here, I'm gonna make sure you have a tall chest, a slight bend in your knees. I like to put my hands behind my head to remind myself to keep my shoulders back. So from here, we're gonna go one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five. Notice my back is nice and straight. And as I come up, I'm just gonna push my hips forward and squeeze my glutes at the top. So once you've mastered the RDL with two legs, we're gonna try it with one. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. The setup is the same, slight bend in the knees, nice tall chest, you can put your hands behind your head or out in front for this one. So, slight bend in the knee, then we're hinging all the way from the hip. Keep your back nice and flat. We're again gonna count out, come to here, come back up, hips forward. Okay guys, for the next one, we're gonna find a rolling chair. If you don't have one of these at home, you can also use um, just a towel on hardwood floors or here I have my uh, garage floor that's nice and smooth. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna lay on your back. Your heels are gonna go up on either your towel or your chair. You're gonna bridge your hips up. And then from here, I'm gonna pull with my heels, heels towards my butt, just like this, and then release out. Okay guys, this next one is gonna be pretty challenging. It's called the Nordic Curl. So you're gonna need a partner for this one, either your parent or a sibling. All they have to do is hold your feet so it won't take too long. I'm gonna show you here in a second. So you're gonna to wanna to have a little bit of a cushion for your knees as you do this. Ultimately, the goal would be to eventually get yourself all the way down to the floor. Um, but for now, we're just gonna control until you feel like you're gonna fall over and then you're gonna come back up. So your partner is gonna come behind you. Their knees are gonna be right up behind your feet. They're going to squeeze the back of your heels and push down to hold you in place against the ground. Okay, your job, you're gonna squeeze your glutes, make sure that your hips stay forward, okay? And you're gonna control and lower down until you feel like you're gonna fall and then come back up. You should really feel this target in the hamstring. If you do have something that you can put to lower down to, it, as long as it hip, hits exactly where your hips are, that's a great way to start as well. But you wanna continue to try and go lower each time. All right guys, the last exercise I have for you is a straight leg glute bridge. So what you're gonna need is just an area to lay down and then another area, whether it's a couch or um, just a small table or even a step to put your foot on top of. So this is what it looks like. So you're gonna lay down, get yourself set up. You can start with two legs. The progression would be to one leg. So I'll show you with two first. So from here, you're going to just lift your hips, keeping your legs straight and squeeze your glutes at the top. You only want to come to a neutral position. So you don't want to hyperextend and arch your back like that. So all the way down and back up. Once you've mastered that, you can try it with one leg. So again, that just looks like this. Come up and back down. You want to try and control the hips so that they don't move side to side. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us for the second installment of Coach Gabby's exercises. Make sure that you're adding those to your workout because they are super important for knee strength and making sure that we don't get hurt when we're trying to play soccer. Knee injuries are not fun. Ask anyone who's had a knee injury, not fun at all. So make sure you're doing those to make sure your knee stays healthy. I hope you guys enjoyed those. If you want more of Coach Gabby, there's a... Mail truck.
That's what happens when you work from home, right? So as I was saying, if you want more of Coach Gabby, go to EvolveEmpire.com. She made a special workout just for you guys on EvolveEmpire.com that you can purchase to get more workouts, okay? So EvolveEmpire.com, a purchasable workout from Coach Gabby specifically made for you guys. Other than that, we have one more free workout coming next Friday on YouTube that you guys can make sure you turn on your notifications so you know that it's coming out and make sure that you subscribe before you leave. And if you liked this workout, give it a big thumbs up. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great week. You enjoy the sunshine that we're finally having after a week of, of rain. And we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for joining us.